I still feel the same how I feel in 2014, 15. Everybody from here first got to die. The city of Jacksonville is filled with gangs that hate each other, leading to endless bloodshed. The subjects of today's video might just be the most hated gang of the whole city. The subjects of today's video beef with all the other well-known gangs across Jacksonville and have allegedly been involved in countless shootings. The subjects of today's video are none other than head first and today we're going to be telling their story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Head First is a gang that hails from the Grand Park area of Jacksonville, and they have beef with sets across the whole city. They beef with all of the sets from the 45th Street area, such as Six Block, Vontae Land, PCE, and A Block. For simplicity, I'm just going to refer to the gangs from this area as Six Block, otherwise things will get too confusing. Six Block is made popular by the rapper Fulio. Head First also beats with 1200 slash Cut Circle, made famous by the rappers Spinna Benz, Wapa with the Choppa, and Jada Breezy. Lastly, Head First beats with ATK and NHG, made popular by the rappers Young and Ace and Queso. With all of this beef going on, eventually the bloodshed will begin. On April 15, 2014, a six-block associate by the name of Aaron Brooks was in the area of Clyde Drive and 4th Avenue when gunshots erupted. For some reason, people in the area that heard the gunshots did not report them to the police. Hours later, as some kids were walking to school, Aaron's body was found. The kids found him on the ground lifeless in the backyard of a house. Aaron was tragically declared dead at just 17 years old. It is widely believed that he was allegedly killed by members of Head First. Shortly after this, Head First would allegedly continue committing acts of violence. On June 25, 2014, a member of Six Block by the name of Vontae, real name Javante Robinson, was allegedly sliding on members of Head First to avenge Aaron with one of his associates. The Head First members that he was trying to take out allegedly started shooting back and Vontae was hit multiple times. The person that was in the car with Vontae ended up pushing Vontae out of the car and leaving him for dead in the middle of the street. According to United States law, if you commit a crime with another person and that person gets killed in the process by someone acting out of self-defense, you can be charged with their murder even if you weren't the one responsible. That is most likely the reason why Vontae's friend allegedly betrayed him. Vontae's body would be discovered at around 10.30pm and he was tragically declared dead at just 18 years old. Afterwards, the set Vontae Land was created in his honor. Members of Head First would go on to diss him in songs and claim to have been the ones to have created Vontae Land. Unfortunately, the bloodshed would continue and Head First would start to take losses of their own. On July 11th, 2014, a member of Head First named J5, real name James Thomas, was hanging out at the Johnny Walker Community Center pool. J5 was only 14 years old and already had a crazy reputation in the streets. The police had allegedly come to his school multiple times to question him about shootings. As J5 went out to the parking lot, a car pulled up and opened fire. J5 was hit once, but the shot was fatal. He was tragically declared dead at just 14 years old. A man named William Brown, age 18, and a man named LeGlenn Schofield, age 19, were charged with the murder, and a man named Michael Wiggins, age 17, was charged as an accessory. The police believe that they killed J5 over a girl. As I mentioned earlier, aside from Six Block, Head First was also beefing heavily with 1200 slash Cut Circle. On October 5th, 2014, a party was being held and members of Head First were rumored to be there. Two 1200 slash Cut Circle members named Prosper and Tay allegedly heard about it and decided to slide. As they allegedly tried to gun down members of Head First, a shootout ensued. This shootout would end up going wrong for Prosper and Tay as they were both shot multiple times. Prosper, full name Prosper Johnson, was tragically pronounced dead at just 17 years old. Tay, real name Deontay Holsey, was tragically pronounced dead at just 20 years old. 
An OG from the 45th Street area named Bobby Norris was tragically killed in this shootout as well at just 26 years old. Two women were injured in the shooting but ultimately survived. Just two months after this, Headfirst would take another loss of their own. On December 10th, 2014, a member of Head First named Big Baby, real name Devron Crowden, was standing outside at a bus stop waiting to be taken to school when over 15 shots rang off. He was struck multiple times and was tragically declared dead at just 16 years old. It is widely believed that members of Six Block were allegedly the ones responsible for Big Baby's death, and Head First would allegedly try to get Get Back that same day. The second the news broke that Big Baby was shot and killed, Six Block's most well-known rapper Fulio would go on social media and start dissing him. Fulio was laughing and celebrating Big Baby's death. Fulio was celebrating so much that people thought he was the one responsible for it. At the time, Fulio was going to a school in the Grand Park neighborhood, which is where Head First resides. As Fulio was getting off of the school bus, he was shot at. Fulio was struck in the hip and was hospitalized, but ultimately survived his injuries. It is widely believed that a member of Head First named Rasta was allegedly the person that shot him. Fulio even hinted in a song that Rasta was the person that shot him. Rasta, look at my dreadlock, shot at him for them lead shots. Free that boy, that's my favorite Rasta. Rasta, look at my dreadlock, shot at him for them lead shots. Following this incident, tragedy would once again strike Head First. On May 15, 2015, a member of Head First named Quan, real name Jaquan Reeves, was at a memorial honoring the memory of his friend named Jay Dang, who was shot and killed two weeks earlier. The memorial was held in a park, and as people gathered together at around 9 p.m., shots rang out. Quan was shot multiple times and was tragically declared dead at just 18 years old. Following his death, members from both ATK and Six Block would diss him. As it goes in the streets, the bloodshed would only continue. On September 24th, 2015, a member of 1200 slash cut circle named Big Desi, real name Kim Desmond Varner, was standing outside of his father's house on the east side when he was shot multiple times. Over 28 evidence markers were placed on the scene and Big Desi was tragically declared dead at just 25 years old. The police believe that a member of Head First by the name of Lenford was allegedly the gunman responsible for Big Desi's death. Lenford was considered one of Head First's main shooters and had a big reputation in the streets. Just days later, 1200 slash Cut Circle would avenge Big Desi's death. As I just mentioned, Lenford was considered Head First top shooter. Just a day after allegedly killing Big Desi, Lenford would go sliding again. The police claimed that just one day after killing Big Desi, Lenford killed a 17-year-old named Daniel Williams in 1200 territory. That same night, Lenford would lose his life. Lenford was inside of a house when he got into a shootout with a member of 1200 slash Cut Circle named Big Chuck real name Charles Eunice. During this shootout, both Lenford and Big Chuck were shot and were pronounced dead. Lenford was just 26 years old and Big Chuck was just 25 years old. It's rumored that Big Chuck was allegedly killed by Lenford's father during the shooting. Following this incident, the violence would unfortunately continue. On November 3rd, 2015, Head First members Amp and Bando and three others were hanging out on Ellis Street near King Road next to a ditch. Some were sitting in a car and the others were standing around in the open. A Head First member named Gutta was there and he said in an interview that he told them, y'all tripping sitting out here in the open, y'all need to leave. Gutta said that he regrets ignoring what he was feeling. He also said that Bando told them that he would be back, and Bando then walked off somewhere on his own. About 15 minutes later, a red Toyota Corolla with a blue passenger door pulled up and opened fire on all five of the people hanging out outside. Once the gunfire came to an end, Amp was lying in a ditch face down flowing in the water. Amp was pulled out of the water and tragically died at the scene at just the age of 18. Bando wouldn't be found until the next day. Tragically, he was found dead lying face down in a ditch at just 19 years old. Police believe that there are multiple people inside the Corolla, but are unsure how many of them fired shots. 
It's widely believed that members of Six Block were the ones allegedly responsible for these murders. On July 19th, 2017, a member of Head First named Little Rap, real name Edridge Buford, was sitting in a parked car when two or three men walked up and fired multiple shots into the vehicle. Little Rap was shot multiple times and tragically pronounced dead at the scene. Little Rap was one of Head First's biggest rappers and losing him was devastating. On June 17, 2018, a member of Head First named Bubba, real name Tyrese Little John, was driving his silver pickup truck when he was shot multiple times. This caused him to crash his truck into a fence and he was taken to UF Health Hospital. At the hospital, Bubba was tragically declared dead at just 29 years old. As you can see, there's no happy ending to this story. The bloodshed between all of these crews is still going on till this day. The city of Jacksonville is just a wild place filled with senseless violence. RIP to everyone that passed away in this video. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comment section, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.